Here's a look by the numbers. 15.4 million U.S. households watched yesterday's World Cup final, an all-time U.S. audience record. NFL viewership is up. Last Thursday's Cowboys-Bills games saw the biggest audience for a Thanksgiving contest in 27 years. The Canadian women's three-on-three team is actually playing right now, and they're hoping to join the men in the Olympics. Women have more opportunities to play sports now thanks to professional leagues and international competition. However, women's treatment in sport is still uneven. Media representation is one area where inequalities still exist. For decades, researchers have studied the volume of media coverage with particular concern for the underrepresentation of women's sports. The data over time paint a gloomy picture. Worldwide, women's sport only account for about 4% of the global sports coverage. And even here at the Olympics, only about 20% of the media personnel are women. So time does not move that quickly in this world. Female athletes only get, you know, four or five percent of that coverage. Those are the things that needs to change in order to have a chance at having a successful business. The most prominent media organizations in various countries often dedicate minimal coverage to women's sports in their everyday programming, only around five to ten percent. Media organizations do tend to promote women's sports when the athletes represent the nation. For example, during the Olympic Games. Hidalyn Diaz not only won the 55 kilogram category of women's weightlifting, she also set an Olympic record. 21-year-old Julia Grosso nailing home the winning kick to a frenzied, tearful celebration. Change the color of the medal, mission accomplished. Women's sports coverage occasionally reaches over 50% of broadcast airtime. But even in these cases, does the 50% represent equality? These inconsistencies raise a series of important questions. What does gender equality in sports media entail? How do we assess it and how do we achieve it? Gender equality is a human right. The United Nations identifies achieving gender equality and empowering all women and girls as one of the main sustainable development goals for 2030. Sport is key in advancing gender equality in areas such as youth participation, safeguarding policies, and leadership roles. UN Women also includes doing better and more media coverage as a key tenet of gender equality in sport. Media coverage is crucial because it can shape how girls and women experience sports by either reinforcing or challenging gender stereotypes. Two 13-year-olds took gold and silver. More girls are following in their tracks to change the face of this male-dominated sport. Media also act as a socializing agent, which means that media coverage might influence the way audiences treat girls and women. Can you give us a twirl and tell us about your outfit? Pertaining to sports media coverage, researchers think about gender equality in two ways. Quantity of coverage and quality of coverage. Quantity can be measured by the number of articles published on a news platform, or the runtime during broadcast coverage, or even the volume of social media posts dedicated to men's versus women's sports. This analysis would lead us to the sorts of findings mentioned earlier, such as 5% or 50% of coverage is dedicated to women's sports. Beyond the volume of coverage, it is also important to look at the quality of coverage. In other words, how are women represented in media? When evaluating coverage quality, we can analyze representation patterns, including the presence of gender stereotypes in words and images. For example, do articles portray women as competent athletes or as sexual objects, or both? In other words, even when women do receive attention, the stories about women's sport might still perpetuate discriminatory patterns. Gender equality is not just a metric, but a comprehensive, structural commitment to the advancement of girls and women. By taking sports media seriously, we can analyze messages about girls and women and evaluate how these messages contribute to or hinder efforts for positive change.
To achieve gender equality in sports media coverage, we need to consider not only existing data on quantity and quality, but also identify barriers and propose solutions. For example, when women represent their countries at international events, such as the Olympics, media organizations hype the home nation athletes and promote women who are winning medals. Driven by nationalism, this form of visibility is deceiving for two reasons. First, attention on national team athletes is often temporary during major events that happen only every two or four years. To ensure continuous interest in women's sports, we must not solely focus on women's success at the international level. Second, this kind of coverage creates divisions between women based on national identity. Media organizations position the home nation athletes as us and pit them against athletes from other countries or them. Who's going to win and what's the score? OK, uh, I think England are going to win by nine points. Or, as we found in our studies, some broadcasters completely ignore women who are from other countries. To achieve gender equality in sports media on a global level, we need to find solutions that benefit all women and girls. Our studies also found significant disruptions, practices that reflect solutions to address gender equality across national contexts. Media organizations can play a role in empowering girls and women in sport by telling comprehensive, nuanced, and contextualize stories that tackle social issues. Gender equality does not exist in isolation. Rather, gender equality is intertwined with racial justice, disability rights, and environmental activism. So what can media organizations do? And how can audiences evaluate gender equality in media coverage? Media organizations can evaluate their own practices. You can also conduct your own mini-research. You can ask, what is the quantity and quality of women's sports coverage? Are the portrayals using inclusive and empowering language and visual representations? Media organizations can set achievable and measurable targets in daily, weekly, seasonal coverage. Think about what would move the coverage of women's sports forward? Which events or athletes could be receiving more coverage? Media organizations can hire and promote content producers who are committed to gender equality. In educational programs, ensure that sports media professionals are trained to cover women's sports or bring in partners when necessary to ensure expertise on these issues. We can all contribute to the empowering representations based on gender, race, disability, sexuality, age, and sport. When you post on social media or create content, you can consult portrayal guidelines as outlined by international governing bodies, media entities, and organizations. Or you could create your own portrayal guidelines that promote inclusion. Gender equality is a collaborative process and we all have a role to play.